All right, Louis Porcelino, Man Over Market, and this is the wrap-up on January 29th. Well, everyone sleep tight tonight because tomorrow is going to be a rock and roll for the first hour when this uh, when these uh, numbers come out tomorrow, and especially the employment index. That's going to be a real humdinger, all right? So... What are they doing? They're putting us in a bind. First of all, let's talk about market action today that we talked about in the morning. I was short in the morning, and um, this was the 15-minute pivot. I put it in afterwards. I told you guys, 1989.75, and then down here, and I made a mistake on a tweet, and I thought this got taken out. It sh spotted green, and then the market closed above it. But if you take a look at this, when I was talking this morning, I tell you how important these pivots are. So we went down and we traded below it. All right. As you can see right here, the pivot was sitting at uh, 1983.75. We traded down to 92. And when it trades down, it, 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 it'll print a green or a, a red um, a dot. And... Uh, it didn't print the, it printed the dot for why it was underneath it and then as it rallied back it didn't close under it so as you can tell we went up and we went and took out the 5 minute pivot all right and um I stated today so when you guys listen to my videos I I do exactly what I tell you I'm doing right I said I didn't want to be long um, or short if the market traded above 94 half okay and uh, I got out of my longs I made a couple few scalps uh, sold some rallies and then uh, covered them and then I said I will not participate but I told you the five minute pivot was right here at 2001 and a quarter we had to take out the Globex high which was 2003 we had to stay in value then I tweeted after we made this high that we had to go down to um, 2,000, I'm, I'm, I keep saying 2,000, 20,000, um, this low was like right here, 20,175, and I, I said, the, the market, what I said was 20,000, um, 20 quarter, because that was 525 point retracement from this high down to here. It was right at the bottom of value. I said, if it's got a rally from here, and it did. It rallied right from here. We had a little pullbacks, and it just walked right up. Our, C, our CCI turned green. You can see all these are green, 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 green. And um, it didn't make it up to uh, it didn't make it up to 2023. Now, there's our dilemma, right? The dilemma is going to be, what do they do? In the overnight market and where do they take this market right because remember I've been preaching and talking about this chart right here right I've been talking about this chart I know it's getting a little busy it's time for me to redo it I, I you know it closed above this 20 um, 25 which is that 50% move from the this high down to this low right so it just kind of looks like now the range is contracting, right? And, um, you know, we're still trading in this range. We, you know, we, we didn't take this out today. And uh, in the overnights, if they get up here and we get a good market or a good number on this uh, uh, employment index tomorrow, we could be right back up here. So um, it's, it's kind of funny because there's all this action going on and... Um, I still keep looking at these these two days that we had the drone buying right here, these these days here, and they were like two weeks ago, and I you know I was kind of you know committed that I I thought the market would go back up to the and, and make new highs, so now we've broken out of the range on both sides, so I think tomorrow's news is going to be uh, the tail, and we get some good news tomorrow and uh, we rally. If we get bad news, we uh, we will break. That's going to be the story. Here's um, what the profile ended up looking like today. Um, so kind of, you know, that looks like an unfinished bottom. 
Um, we filled in pretty good, all right? And then uh, we went back up here and we filled in these single prints up to 2010. And uh, we've got this, you know, here's the, here's the mode from yesterday, 23. And then you got these up here, you know, from what we broke yesterday. So uh, I, right now, it is a toss-up. I will know more in the morning. Uh, I want to see what kind of overnight action we have, uh, and we'll go from there. I, I let's take a look at the. Um, let me take a look at uh, the day profile only. There it is. See what that looks like. So, like it, it, it actually look at this. It, it, you know, it made the low down there uh, today. Uh, that's a double bottom, I guess, again. That, that, that might be a triple bottom because we had this bottom here. Look at that. These these two bottoms were uh, 1981 and a quarter. And the low today, I believe, was what, 19? Let me double check that. But I think the, the low today was right here. And that low was 1982. So this low didn't take out those 1981 and quarters. Hmm. You know what? That's my fault. I should have known that. I should have known that. I've been. I've, I've made a point that that's where we rallied with rather from before. All right. Um, I'm probably going to just uh, give you a, a recap on uh, the bonds, oil, and gold, and in, in the morning, um, I. Uh, we, I had computer trouble all day today, and that's why I was slow getting the video and sounded like a knucklehead this morning. But uh, so this is what it's going to tell. We're going to find out tomorrow. Uh, if we get some overnight action that gets the market back above 25, and uh, it'll be, a, it'll be you know, a, a you pick them tomorrow when the numbers come out. So, all right, everybody, have a good night. Great volatility. I hope you're uh, making some money, and uh, I enjoy all the new followings. Keep the, uh, the, keep the questions coming, and also um, I love it when you guys participate. That's, uh, you know, we can all help each other and learn from each other. Talk to you later. Bye.